Scorpio, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Get your energy in with us. Join our spiritual family. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe and comment and hit the notification bell. If this resonates for you, you may want to receive further messages. And by hitting that notification bell, you can do just that. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the angel romance guidance and advice messages here. You're going to do pick a card. So the first message you choose is your strongest message you're meant to hear. Your second, your second, and your third, your third. Let's see what's going on. I know we're all anxious. Keep in mind, this may not resonate right now. It may resonate a week from now, tomorrow, the next day. It could resonate from the other person's perspective. That's how Tarot works. Let's find out. We need one more, please. Spirits and angels, one more. Thank you. No peeking. No peeking. All right. Let's see what's going on. We are so going to dig. For those of you brand new, welcome. For those of you returning, thank you so much for your continued support. Let's find out what's going on. So remember, it's general. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Sometimes my moon rising, um, you know, just affects me just as much as my sun sign. So you might want to check your other placements if you know what they are. Spirit says, give your relationship a chance, okay? Work on your partnership. So for many of you, it can be that if you're already in a relationship, it's definitely worth putting the energy and the time in there. But remember, it does take two. So if you're in a one-sided, unbalanced relationship, it may be time for you to rethink that um, whoever needs to hear this message it's about giving your relationship a chance okay let's get the next message past life relationship you've known each other before so it can be somebody from your past um, or this can be definitely somebody that you just have that connection with that it feels like a past life relationship Okay, it can be both. It can be you reconnecting with somebody and you just have that that soul deep connection here that you know you just spirit is saying give this relationship a chance here. Okay. This can be somebody that you know you haven't even met yet. And when you meet them, you'll have that connection and spirit saying give it a chance. Don't pass it up, okay? Next message, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. If you don't release whatever has happened to you in your past, you kind of see, like, like I see this, look at this guy, he's got his head down, and there's these, you know, it's like he's got these haunting memories and it keeps coming back to him or her. And it's about releasing that because if you don't, you bring those demons into your relationships. And it doesn't matter if that's your mother, your father, your children, your girlfriend, your lover, a friend, whatever. It's it, it plays on your emotions somehow in some way, shape or form. And it reflects. Okay, so spirit saying you need to forgive and let go in order to heal and move forward here and you know uh, maybe it's worth giving a relationship a chance maybe you or whoever you're dealing with needs to to release something from the past here in in order to experience a fulfilling happy and positive healthy relationship is what i'm getting all right let's start digging we are so gonna dig i'm gonna get your mutual energy so stay tuned between you and whoever you might be dealing with now or in the future using our exclusive shacy prism tarot for those of you brand new yeah and I'm going to get your person's energy using the Tarot of Dreams deck. And we are going to use this gorgeous new deck that I received as a gift from Usagi, who is always a fantastic and undying supporter of our channel. Thank you so much, Usagi. They are my faves. These in my vintage deck are my faves. And I also love the Tarot of Dreams. So I've chosen these three decks. Um, I'm also going to dig a lot further in the extended. So for those of you this resonates for, you may want to check that out. Ooh, and by the way, today only, I'm going to do a special on the Scorpio extended. So if you want to get in on that, today only, it's going to be a $9.99 special for that extended. And I dig so much deeper. So take advantage of that, okay? Let's get going here. So in the extended, for those of you that are brand new, I will focus on March 2021. We're going to dig into March. I will get pick a card with the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. So we'll find out how you and your person are reflecting and feeling about each other intimately. I'm going to also pull the Divine Masculine messages. So what the messages that Divine Masculine would like to say, Divine messages that the Divine Feminine would look, like to say, so on and so forth, okay? Let's see what's going on. We're going to find out how your person feels about you in the extended as well. What actions would they take towards you if they could? What are the blockages? What would they like to say to you? Uh, what's on their mind? How do they feel about you? All of those things we're going to find out in the extended. But let's get your overall energy first here. Scorpio, what's going on for us Scorpios? For those of you that are brand new, I'm a Scorpio. So welcome. Let's see what's going on. What's going on for us Scorpios? What do we need to know for our highest good? Who's coming toward us? 
What are their intentions for Scorpio, February 2021? What are the messages we need to hear for our highest good? So whenever you come across this reading is when you're meant to hear it. I'm also going to pull the uh, fortune cards. We're going to do some fortune pick a cards here as well uh, in a moment. Okay, so yeah, I like to dig. <laughs> That's what us Scorpios love to do. What is going on for us Scorpios we need to be made aware of? Angels and spirits. What are the newest messages we need to hear for our highest good? Who's affecting our energy? Who's coming toward us? What are the messages? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the newest messages? What are the newest messages? That one definitely wanted to come out. Wow, Scorpio, beautiful. So you may have a message or some kind of communication coming in that's going to be really good. Something really fantastic, I feel. This is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. That can be a job. It can be something. It can be a blessing, money, um, a career, a family, a friend, something could be from somebody younger or somebody young at heart that has a lot of fire up and go here. It can be somebody with a lot of energy here has fire in their chart quite possibly. Why is a page of wands here for us Scorpios for February, 2021? Ooh, oh, mm, 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 mm. that's an interesting combination. Oh, Scorpio, what's going on? So you may have been going through some heartbreak lately, but there's going to be some news here that I feel, ooh, that's the wand, Scorpio. So you are going to get excited about something. It's a new opportunity, I feel, after a period of heartbreak here. We're going to dig so much deeper because the Three of Swords wanted to jump out as well. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini with the heart there. Um, the heartbreak is, you know, something that's temporary, something that doesn't usually last forever. I feel whatever news is coming in is going to make you very happy. Um, <laughs> with the Ace of Wands, that can be, you know, the in intimacy. Uh, <laughs> it, let's put it this way, Scorpio. I don't feel like you're going to be heartbroken for long. Okay, there's some exciting new opportunity coming in, I feel, that's going to make you very happy. But let's go ahead and clarify. The Ace of Wands, why is that here for us Scorpios? There is growth here. I want to show you this because you see the growth on the Wands. This means that there's growth occurring in something, something to get excited about, a new opportunity that's going to grow and going to um, continue to grow, I feel, here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's going. It's a blessing from the universe, I'll tell you that. That's what that means. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I, I want to show you this because I've never really looked at this before and now I'm really looking at it and I've got to show you. Okay, you see this wand here? There's a couple little buds growing there, but then look at the wand here. It's like once you get this news, whoosh, we grow a whole bunch of buds. There's a whole bunch of growth happening here. So it's almost like a spark, something new, something exciting starts to grow from here. Okay. Now, let's keep going. I had to show you that because it's just, wow, that's so cool. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Leave me comments down below. Let me know what's going on with you. I've been answering your comments. OMG, it's flying. Oh, my. Wow. You may have no idea this is coming on here, Scorpio. Uh, this could be you, kind of like, I'm not sure what direction to go. I've got my blindfold on. I have no idea what the heck's going on. You may be feeling in the dark about a few things. You're kind of like, I don't know whether to go left or right. This is usually because you don't have all the answers. You don't know what's going on. So I feel like something's going to come in, some kind of message, some kind of communication that is, you know, something revolving around some kind of heartbreak here. It's like somebody's made a choice. We've got the two to the three of swords. It might be a heartbreaking decision that you've had to make or somebody's had to make, but it's going to bring you growth and happiness, a message, some communication here because we've got the card of success and look at all these wands, okay? This is recognition. This is um, getting attention. Get You know, you're getting attention maybe um, or somebody is coming in towards you and it's, it's about success and victory moving forward here. I feel like an indecision becomes a decision here. And it's going to be successful. Whatever decision or choice is being made here that, you know, perhaps you had no idea this message or communication was coming in. Let's keep going. Wow. Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here for Scorpio? Clarify the Two of Swords for Scorpio. What do we need to know, angels and spirits, about the Two of Swords for February 2021? What do we need to know? Why is the Two of Swords here for us Scorpios? What are the messages surrounding the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here? There could be something that, you know, Scorpio, you've been in the dark about and you're kind of like, I've got my blindfold on and until I know everything, you know, as Scorpios, kind of, we won't always make a, 
a move unless we kind of know which direction to go. We have all the answers. Yeah, okay, so you could have, ooh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, this king is somebody who is honest, cuts through the crap. They tell the truth here. This is somebody that's honest, somebody that's bold, direct, blunt. Um, this is also the sword to cut through all the crap. Like I said, of whatever is or is not working, they will cut through it. Um, I feel like somebody is thinking about you. It can be, again, look at this past life relationship here. Somebody could be coming in to speak their truth here, Scorpio. Somebody who's highly energetic. Somebody who is very passionate about you. Um, or this is a passionate spark of a new idea or growth between the two of you here. Something that's going to be successful. Now, the King of Swords, the Three of Swords can represent uh, for some of you that... It was a heartbreaking decision here, but it's like I'm moving forward successfully. I'm cutting through it here. I'm, you know, I'm being blunt. I'm being honest. This is somebody who's going to speak very clearly here. I feel um, how they feel about you because we've got the Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. So this means we're getting past the drama, getting past the chaos. We're having success here at being honest with each other, um, perhaps about how we feel here with that Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. And we've got past, uh, past energy here. This could be a soul mate a past life connection somebody from your past you know your childhood or teenage years whatever the case may be they're thinking sweetly about you they could be speaking very blunt very direct towards you about how they feel here with that ace of wands uh and and now i feel like you're you're going to move forward successfully past kind of like any challenges is what i'm seeing here it's this is beautiful wow mm -mm. and if this happens scorpio you do need to let me know that is really excellent energy. So I feel like after a period of heartbreak or making a heartbreaking decision or choice, you will move forward successfully. It can be an air sign, a fire sign. They could have strong air and fire in their chart. But we also have water energy, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here. Wow. This is beautiful. This is getting past the drama, getting past conflict, getting past any obstacles here. Yeah, okay, so somebody's been walking away from people, places, or things that have been in the way, I feel, Scorpio. Um, or just maybe not in the way, it's just been perhaps, you know, one of those obstacles because we're cutting through it. We're getting away from it. We're walking away from where we haven't been happy. Uh, this could be you, but I feel like somebody's coming in towards you here with that eight page of wands. You're going to receive some communication that allows um, you to perhaps walk away and be successful here. I feel it involves somebody from your past here, though, that's coming in towards you. Because, you know, we have the moon here as well, as well, and we have the moon here. So I feel like you don't know that some kind of communication is coming in, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. Whoever this is for you, flip it how you need to, is going to be direct, honest, and blunt, okay? And it's going to allow for growth here. Somebody's forgiving, releasing, and healing the past here, I feel, in order to embrace this new, exciting uh, beginning with you. Uh, this is going to, wow, I'm going to shut up now. Let's go ahead and get the fortune. I'm going to dig so much deeper and extended. We're going to find out who this soulmate is. We're going to find out where we're walking to. This is somebody looking for their ninth cup, their wish fulfillment. They've walked away. It's caused some heartbreak here. For some of you, this could represent divorce with the king of swords, the eight of cups there. Um, that's not going to be for all of you. Walked away from another situation and, and they're walking towards you to give you some kind of news here. But we're going to dig. Let's start digging. Okay, let's see. We're going to get three messages for Scorpio, please. The newest messages for us Scorpios. What are they? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? One of these days, I'm going to do live Scorpio readings and other readings as well. I just, I can't do that right now, but... I am going to figure out how to do it. I have done it once or twice, but let's get going. All right, are you ready? First message, oh, turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Okay, so there could have been somebody that um, was not behaving properly in this relationship. It can be they were immature. It can be um, a child, a, a lover, um, an ex. It can be somebody because somebody's needing to release something here. It can be that somebody just was behaving immaturely here is what I'm kind of getting for some of you. Next message, <laughs> gavel, involvement with the law. Ooh, let's hope not. So perhaps somebody has had to hire an attorney. That's quite possible here. 
you know, a mediator, a counselor, or somebody. The King of Swords is, again, can be somebody who's quite high up there, a judge, an attorney, somebody in a position of authority here. It can be that somebody has hired somebody like that because they're walking away from another situation or getting a legal separation or divorce here for some of you here. It can be that what was affecting this relationship was um, somebody that was interfering, perhaps, for some of you here because we have the Three of Swords, which indicates that not only has there been heartbreak but this can be that others have been involved here it can be that you know three's a crowd it can be five's a crowd it can be that there's just too many people here and now we're overcoming that we are overcoming that we're walking away and cutting out whoever has not been there for our highest good okay we're learning that we need to cut ties perhaps with certain people that are not in our corner or there for our highest good you know um, let's keep going. Next message. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So somebody, yeah, if you're at a distance from somebody, it can be that they're coming towards you here. Uh, for some of you, this could be you walking away from another situation quite successfully here. Maybe you're, you know, walking towards somebody from your past. It can be. It may affect children for some of you here with the Six of Cups. This is also soulmate energy. So you could be you know, walking towards your soulmate and walking away from another situation. It's going to be different for all of you. But this is a journey. You know, it can be that you are actually physically taking a journey or mentally you're just moving on. You're ready to kind of speak up and walk away from whatever hasn't been working for you. Let's go ahead and get the mutual energy between you and whoever you're dealing with. Angels and spirits, what are the hopes, dreams, wishes, blockages possibly here between Scorpio and whoever they're dealing with? What are the mutual messages that Scorpio needs to hear for their highest good for February 2021? What are the mutual energies for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we need to hear for our highest good? Growth and opportunity. Something new, Scorpio. Beautiful. Let's see what's going on. What's going on between Scorpio and the person of interest now or in the future who they have or have not met yet? What are the mutual energies between Scorpio and their person? What are the messages they need to hear for their highest good for February 2021? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Who or what is going on? Wow, two came flying out. Self-love and care. So it can be perhaps you and your person are kind of loving on yourself right now, trying to get yourself together. That could be, um, you know, you need to fill your own cup before you can fill somebody else's. But I do feel like communications coming in here Scorpio wow travel moving what was I just saying so there could be travel moving here indicated in the future a physical move here either for your person or you or together whatever the case may be here wow very nice hmm yeah we've got here that you know somebody could be traveling and moving here for some of you, it can be that you have no idea. The moon is here. It's like you're in the dark, perhaps, about what's going on until you receive some kind of message. One more, please, for Scorpio. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. Again, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if this is resonating for you. If this isn't resonating for you, remember, it can resonate for you a month from now, two months from now. Uh, that's how tarot works. A lot of my repeat clients let me know that, you know, a couple months later, things have been happening for them. So... Keep an eye on the comments. You'll see that there, and it's fantastic. You can go to shacy.com, see the reviews as well. I encourage you to do that. Um, I'm so proud of them, and I'm so happy, and I'm so blessed to be able to do this for all of you. So thank you for su continually supporting us. We really appreciate it. I love reading for all of you. What are the messages, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so Spirit says perhaps you and somebody else have been kind of overanalyzing it. Maybe that's where the stupidity is coming in. Maybe you and your person have been constantly overanalyzing this situation here, and that's been the heartbreak. It's going to be different for all of you, but that's what I'm seeing. You know, we do overthink. <laughs> uh, I'm guilty. I know it. Um, you know, I will sit at night, and I will think. As soon as my daughters are asleep, I will you know, replay things in my head over and over until, you know, you drive yourself nuts. So be careful of that energy because that kind of can create this exhaustion. We know that, right, Scorpios? Let's get some advice and guidance messages for us using the Goddess Guidance Tarot. 
What are the messages for us Scorpios, please? Advice and guidance for us Scorpios. What are messages we need to hear for our highest good? So again, I'm going to do a recap here. We're going to dig into March here. We're going to find out where the soulmate energy is going, where the success is leading you here. Perhaps we can dig further now. We're going to dig further into how your person feels about you. What are their blockages? What's on their mind? And what would they tell you if they could? Um, so we will check that as well as I'm going to pull the new um, Leo Norman deck as well. This is a new, it's not a tarot deck, but it gives us uh, huh, really deep messages that we need to hear. Um, I will I will get further into that in the extended, but I love them and I'm learning how to read them and they're fantastic. So if you want to tune into that, feel free to do so. What are the messages we need to hear for our highest good? Ooh, blossoming. You are just getting started. Nice. So have patience with yourself. The process, do not give up. Spirit is telling you not to give up. You know, us Scorpios don't give up until we feel the need to, you know. Um, again, it's equal give and take. It's, um, uh, you know, giving your partnership, your relationship a chance. Past life, we got past soulmate here right there so i feel like spirit saying um, maybe forgiveness needs to be had here if you've been over analyzing you and your person here uh, perhaps one or the other of you walked away without an explanation and now perhaps you know spirit is saying if they come back to you with some kind of communication here be open to it here because i feel like this is you know it can represent a move perhaps they're moving towards you here and they want to message you and they're going to be very serious and very blunt here is what i'm getting here and it's going to be something to get excited about again look at the growth on that wand Ooh, scorpio yeah hello anyway <laughs> sacred space create an altar visit a power place to connect with the divine so perhaps you or your love interest, whoever this is for you, needs to create an altar, uh, do some meditation, um, try and figure things out. Don't overanalyze here. Give yourself lots of self-loving care at this time. Um, if you have no idea what's going on, I do feel like Spirit's saying to give yourself that time to kind of like, you know, uh, forgive, learn from the experience and keep going here because there is a blessing coming in. It's right here. And I, I feel it's going to make you very happy. And I have no idea when this is going to happen, but something's coming, Scorpio. I can smell it. I can smell it. I mean, we've got wands, wands, wands. And we so we've got action, taking the action, and also being very clear. So it's like we're being very honest, very direct, very clear about growth, opportunity, happiness here. Um, so it's somebody being very serious and also very excited at the same time. So it's a very honest, um, it's a very honest and direct energy, which is good. Uh, it is. Okay, I don't see any pentacles here yet. So let's see if this is going to be laid on solid ground, whatever this relationship is for you. We will dig. I do want to go ahead and get a love compass guidance message first. We're also going to pull the Kipper deck in the extended. Again, the Tarot of Dreams. We're going to get their energy and what's going on. I'm going to focus on March. What are the love and guidance messages for us Scorpios we need to hear for our highest good for February 2021 what are the messages for February 2021 the newest love and guidance message wow retreat so somebody could be retreating right now okay it's so a time for a soul reflection and soul searching a period or phase of quiet is needed take time off to work on healing and recharging find clarity by spending some time in nature okay again I'm getting the feeling Scorpio that somebody's needing to retreat here and take the time out again i'm feeling that perhaps you or your person is is needing this quiet time to reflect to blossom to figure things out here perhaps how to message you or you them perhaps you've both been overthinking like i said here uh, you know that is something that we need to learn not to do and we definitely are water energy we're water signs so we definitely need to go uh, spend time in nature it's very important so if you have all been kind of stressing which I know I've heard a lot of your messages that that you have um, and there's a level of impatience there's a level of not knowing what's going on it's very frustrating for us Scorpios not to know what's going on so take this time out 
You can't control everything, but what you can control is how you deal with it. So take some time to um, take some time out for yourself in nature. And again, create that space for yourself that is kind of your release. Okay, for me, it's nature. For me, it's meditation. For you, it might be yoga. For me, it's also going for a walk in nature. Very important, all of those things. Okay, we are going to dig so much deeper. So again, I'm going to focus on March. I'm going to get their feelings, what their blockages are, what they could say if they could to you. Um, we're going to find out what's on their, their mind, perhaps how they feel about you. We're also going to pull the tarot of sexual magic. Let's pull one right now. Let's pull one right now. I need to pull one right now. Ready? Okay, let's see what's going on. Ooh, the devil. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn here, but this can also be that perhaps there's something toxic looming over your relationship, but this can also represent obsession. You know, I'm very determined. I feel chained to you. It can be that there is a ton of passion with that Ace of Wands. We're going to dig. We're going to dig on that too. Okay, so if this is where you lead me, I thank you so much for being here. And leave me comments down below. Don't forget the $9.99 special here. Um, only for today for the extended if you get it today. Uh, I might bring it out until tomorrow as well. For those of you that want a personal reading, hit me up at shacy.com. Don't forget to check out the reviews if you wish to do so on our website. And also join our mailing list on there if you choose to do so. And I'd love to see you on our Facebook page. So for those of you leaving me now, I'll see you next time. For those of you seeing me on the continuation, I will be right there. It's pinned down in the comments below for those of you that are brand new. I thank you all so much for your continued support. For those of you that are continually here, always supporting me and my girls. Thank you so very much. Lots of beautiful blessings, love and light. Namaste.